So I want to be chosen. Being called is not enough. I want to be chosen. Why? Because God can count you faithful. God's tested your heart, and God can count you faithful and use your life. How do, how do I make sure God uses my life? Here's a question. How do I make sure God uses my life? The answer is I just surrender. Just surrender. You don't have to do anything, earn anything, be anything, become anything. You just surrender to the will of the Lord, and he will lead you. Your steps are ordered, and he will lead you along every direction and every path and every curve and every turn. Do you know eagles don't strive to be eagles? They just soar because they're eagles. Do you know how they soar? They surrender to the wind. And they're not striving and flapping and and trying hard and wearing themselves out. They surrender to the current of the wind, the spirit. And next thing you know, they're running and not being weary. They're walking and not. Why? Because God has given us eagles wings when we wait in the presence of the Lord. So so I want to be like an eagle. I was sharing this this week. This God, I don't know why this was in my heart. Other than sometimes I'll have conversations with my my 12-year-old. You know, he's 12 now, so we're having the real deep conversations. We were having deep conversations when he was six. I believe that. I believe in that. But, okay, one of the things I was telling him is that associations, if you chase relationships and associations, you'll always have an abundance of associations. The problem is you're not soaring up in the clouds. Because to be an eagle sometimes means you're alone, because you've surrendered to the wind of the current and other people are not doing the same thing. Pigeons have a ton of relationships. They have a ton of friends. Everywhere you look, there's another pigeon hanging out right where they're at. Okay? But I don't want to be a pigeon. Now, I'm not knocking relationships. The Bible tells us to forsake not the assembling and relationships and loving one another and thinking not ourselves higher than we ought. All those things are important. But when relationships become my focus over what the Spirit of God is speaking and saying in a place and over my destiny, then I've missed it. And so many times God will take you like Abraham. If Abraham had made it about relationships, Abraham would have never become the father of many nations. Okay, you have to sometimes leave and not sometimes. Let me rephrase that. You have to all the time leave your comfort zone for God to use your life. It's not there's not a question. Look at the template. It happens every time you have to leave your comfort zone or, or God can't use you. Why? Because until you get to the end of your natural, you don't need his super. And the reason most of us never experience the supernatural is because we never step out and come to the end of ourselves. And as long as I've got everything that I need in here, then I don't need Jesus. I can say I need Jesus, but I really don't. The minute I come to the end of myself, Jesus becomes more real to me than my own life. And that's when he begins to move in my life. Why? Because I surrendered to the wind. I surrendered to the spirit.